Hey there everyone, this is Alcow playing Nonsense, and it's pretty clear that these are advancing in difficulty, so Hub 1's probably the only one that I'm not gonna have any issues. Let's play with Jabriz again! There's a plant living. I saw you before in a game. Mr. Plant up there on the ceiling. Oh, whoops, sorry, I just kinda walked into you there. No, I totally did. It was a uh, Oreo. Nachos and Oreo. Right? Really? Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty clear, I think, that uh, these are not gonna get any easier. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be struggling, and you know, it's gonna be a fight, and that's just how it is, and that's okay for the most part. I'm making my peace with it. But I- whoops. I understand how this can be frustrating for some of my viewers. Because, you know, like, I enjoy the struggle enough. I hope none of these will be so hard that I'm gonna need to grind again, though. I'm, I kind of don't want to grind anymore. But, um... Yeah, like, difficulty is up there, but... A lot of what is being done is super interesting. Whoa! It's just that I can understand why the audience might be a little bit more done than I am because I, I sort of had that realization that for a little while now, like if you're watching my channel and you're into Smooth in general, this is going to be great. There is a lot of smoothness going on. Like it's gone, it's very wild, it's very new, it's very engaging. Hot stuff, good times. However, if you're a little bit more interested in Raukau's commentary while playing Smoo, then yeah, my videos as of late uh, have been a little lacking. Like, I'm not gonna mince words. A lot of levels require my concentration so I don't talk too much. And also, I am aware that the footage is gonna get cut to complete shreds, so... Again... Sort of disincentivizes talking a whole lot. And also, I mean, it is ending up all edited out, so it's not like an old, like, long-form... ...conversations with myself all that well. So, uh, yeah, like, if... If that's why you're watching my videos, no, you you will not be served. The last few weeks of this series and the forthcoming probably like two other weeks of this game. And I, I can I can understand the frustration. But I mean that's just how things ended up being. Like, it's an affair of the fact that, yeah, it's super cool that suddenly, in the end game, like, this game just has, like, an explosion of extra savory stuff that you just, just kind of don't really see coming. Like, it's cool. It's a super neat surprise. It's just that, unfortunately, it's right at that part of the game that is clearly a little too hard for the old Ow Cow. And, uh... Because, like, if this was happening while the difficulty was at a level where, you know, I could more easily hold a conversation with myself, then the vibe would be completely different, wouldn't it? But that's not what happened. And I feel like there is a discussion to be had about... Does it make sense? For a hack, or a game like this, to have such a wide berth in terms of difficulty. Whoops. Curve. Like, does having, like, so like, you know, yeah, pe the people who made this game love hard games, and so they kind of went into the harder parts. And that is super cool. And people who love hard Mario will play this and have a grand old time. But then, you know, what up with the easier part of the game? Like, should should the easier parts have been made harder from the ground up? Because now you end up in the situation, and I've seen this, 
uh, people have mentioned this, where people have enjoyed the easier parts of this game quite a bit, but eventually just hit a wall at some point and realistically just cannot justify putting in the time to play the game anymore. And that's fine. And for the most part, you know, peeps recognize that. And, you know, basically also say, but you know what, that's fine. Like, 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 I have no problems with that. It's just that, you know, then it's like, but then I can't just, like, keep playing realistically. And I just wonder, like... Who benefits from an extremely wide difficulty curve? Like, I, th I understand wanting this game to reach a wide audience. You know, the purpose of every game, well, I shouldn't say that, but the purpose of most game is to be played. Whoops, oh boy, it's a two-tiler, wow. Uh, right? So, so having a more approachable start makes sense in that context. But I feel like the, the end game and post game of this game, even the late game, I don't know if it wants to be played by a wide amount of people. To me, it's pretty clear that the game wants to be played by the elite of Mario. And that's great. That's fantastic. They as an audience exist, as a clientele, they exist. But then, does the earlier game serve those people? Like. Do they need that easier early game? I mean, they don't need it. But, like, are they well served having to play it? And I don't have an answer for this. I mean, you would have to ask. And I'm sure if you ask most, like, high level Mario's men and women who have played this, they would say they liked it, but did they like. The when the game gets hard more or not. Like, I just... I don't know. And the reality is I'm probably super overthinking it. The game is called Nonsense, after all. But I couldn't help myself but think about this, all of this, this morning. Before I started recording. And so there you go! Those were my musings of the day. All right, let's try to actually be this. This seems, this one seems a bit uh, more attainable than what I've been playing lately. It's like it's a, it's a video game level. I'm not rushed constantly by something or another. That's a big differentiator. Ugh. Nice. Uh, I was gonna get hit by something. Nice. What a weird little aside to add there. Yeah, it's almost... Uh. I... I feel like that should have been a spin bounce. Does... Does not feel that way? Everyone else? Anyone in the audience agrees? If you agree, eat an entire lemon right now. Come. Um. Man, it's just like, yeah, uh, it's kind of a lot happening here. Dude, I've been here like once. Yeah, I've been to the back. Been here. I remember this. I think I've been here. There's a box. Whoa. Okay. That's worrisome, because this implies we're maybe at like halfway. It's like a halfway zone place area for idiots. That's mean. I mean, I, uh, I, I look, I, I, I looked at the setup. I was like, dude's gonna turn around. A projectile's heading my way. I took a gamble. It didn't work out. That thing aimed. Ah, oh, you didn't jump. Well, ah. Uh. 
Oh, if Fuzzy didn't load. Poor guy. Oh, I love how it's to the side. That's cute. Okay. Eliminated a tiny little cat guy. Sounds pretty rude, I know. Yeah, like, I could go there and pop this guy on the noggin. I just don't think that's a good use of my time. Ah, oh, shoot. Let's aim that one. Whew. Okay. So, okay, you need to go on the other side to get this high enough. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. It's fine. That's probably what I want to do, is I probably do want to bounce on you, get up there, and get shot in the back when I just- when when I cross it. Perfect timing. Oh, my timing was the one that was not perfect. It doesn't time anything. It fires at the same steady rhythm. That's the opposite of timing. Ugh, timing of everything here. Just... I'm waiting for 500 other things to get into places, man. Yep. Yeah, no, it's... I mean... A highlight obstacle. Right, so just uh, oh! When the plant like spews, and when it mews. What am I talking about? When, when the normal plants come out of their socket. Oh, it's just like hello. You're like ah oh, man, is that not where I got last time or something? The furthest? Really? Oh. Was something was decided by people that are not me. No, I've been here before. Yeah, I've been here before. Yeah, that's as far as I've been. Okay. I've been all the way here. And it continues beyond, though, so don't be too happy. Eh. Eh. Yeah, this is a, this is a tough pickle. Because, again, it's just like the, the timing... What?! How did I miss? Uh, but yeah, like the timing of the plant and the other plant seem to be perfectly aligned to be just like the most annoying. And because they're red stem, like it's very hard for me to have an effect on their spawn. Like if they were green and I could stop them from popping up, It'd be very easy by just choosing where I stand to sort of, you know, change their relative timing. But I can't, because they just do what they want by design. What they want is a very, very specific timing that never deviates forever. Jumping, so you just run upward. Yeah! I knew I was gonna be safe there, what are you talking about? Oh shoot, I say, being okay, not for long. Okay, uh, let's calm down. Calm down. Alright. Back here. I would love to see my platform. <sighs> I'm so mad at redstone plants. Like, I realize that they're literally the code for normal plants from Smooth that are unused. I feel like red stem plants have, to me, sort of solved the mystery as to why green stem plants are unused. Because imagine if the original Smooth had all these weird interactions where Kind of, you're touching the pipe, but you're also bouncing on it and whatnot. Like, imagine if the real game was like that. How bad it would feel. Like, this is why Smoo doesn't use normal plants. Like, I figured it out. 
Well, I didn't really figure it out, but it's a compelling theory with a lot of anecdotal evidence of sorts available. Just gotta go and then... Great, whatever. Exclamation mark. Timing there just did not favor doing anything at all, really. Get free, Maul. Free from this mortal coil. the other platform is while I'm doing this, but you know, I, I, got, I gotta dance. Okay, PB. So you gotta climb all the way on top. That's fun. I say sarcastically. Alright, let's go. Ugh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> 40 minutes! That's pretty good! I'm tempted to do another one, even though I know it's a bad idea. Safety. It's a terrible idea. But that just went so well, I feel energized. No! No! You know what? How about we end energized then, huh? Fine. <laughs> Fine. Oh, uh, that went well. I like this level a lot. 